Hello students. Today we will continue the topic which we were discussing uh, yesterday. Uh, so yesterday we have discussed in our last lecture in our last topic we have discussed that the point okay the point inside the surface of the earth okay the point inside the surface of the earth from where okay from where the pressure begins from where the vibration begins okay the point inside the surface of the earth from where the vibrations begins or the force you know uh, uh, get aggregated over there or the all the uh, you know which is the place from where all the disturbance has started okay that point is known as focus okay that point is known as focus now if we take this point vertically upwards okay children if we take this point vertically upwards and this point on the surface of the earth okay this point on the surface of the earth will be this point on the surface of the earth vertically upwards it will be known as what children epicenter okay it will be known as epicenter this thing which we have discussed yesterday just a quick uh, revision of that a gist of that because today's topic is also based upon this so what we have discussed yesterday that the pressure which is building up inside the layer of the earth the vibrations which starts inside the surface of the earth is known as focus isn't it is known as focus now the if this point is taken upwards okay if this point is taken vertically upwards at that point is known as epicenter that point is known as epicenter now children if the this also we have discussed that if the distance okay if the distance from the epicenter increased okay if the distance from the epicenter increased say this epicenter is in mumbai okay this epicenter is in mumbai and when we talk about some other place like here we are talking about gujarat so there is a lot of distance between the epicenter and the gujarat and so the vibrations won't be felt on this part okay the vibrations won't be felt over here but when we talk about some point you know which is very near to epicenter if we are talking about a point which is very near to epicenter okay now see this one this is so close to epicenter if the distance decreases the intensity of the earthquake will increase the intensity of the vibrations will increase the effect uh, what uh, can be seen over here will be more isn't it so as the distance from the epicenter you know the effect or whatever effect uh, is there it depends upon the distance from the epicenter if the distance is increasing then what will happen children distance is very high so the effect will be reduced the intensity will be reduced isn't it and if the distance from the epicenter is very 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 less it's very less so intensity of the earthquake will increase the effect of the vibrations will be felt the the damage will be more the destruction will be more is it clear okay now here i have taken the example of gujarat that was just to explain the distance that here the distance is very high now if we talk about a one particular place only say suppose this is one particular area okay so here this is epicenter and the area which is very close by to epicenter will have larger destruction will have more destruction will have to face more damage and destruction why because when the area okay when the area is very near to epicenter then what will happen children the effect of the vibrations will be more you know actually when this disturbance occur in the lower part of the earth when this disturbance is you know created um, in the lower surface in the uh, as we are seeing over here 
okay under the surface of the earth so it is not the thing that children this uh, disturbance will be confined at one place only okay this disturbance is created over here so it will be here only it won't go anywhere no that is not the case what is happening this disturbance get what it, it just gets spreaded you know it spread everywhere okay and when the disturbance is getting like this disturbance it, it's move on the uh, different parts the vibrations it is passed okay from one layer to another and it can be the effect of the vibrations can be seen on the surface of the earth also actually you know children why it is happening so because in this all okay the energy which is created the energy which is created is very very high okay and the energy i can even write this over here the energy we created children why i am writing wave because you know as if uh, like the as the vibrations moves isn't it from one uh, layer of atmosphere to another in the same way the disturbance it's not going in the air but a disturbance can be like it moves from one layer to another isn't it it's a pass so it 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 becomes it takes the form of a sort of a wave which is passing from one part to another from one part to another from first to second from second to third from third to fourth isn't it so i can write the energy wave so what i can write the energy wave created okay or originated or originated from the focus is called as is called as seismic waves okay so what is the meaning of the sentence which i wrote children because you know the energy which is created over here is very very high it's the tremendous amount of energy is created okay lot of energy is created and this energy will not be uh, you know confined when it won't be uh, it it's not going to be there at one place it's going to move it's going to what in the form of the waves it is going to travel so this disturbance which has uh you know which is produced in the lower surface of the earth it is going to come up okay it is going to come up and it will be it can be felt by us and the destruction takes place the damage takes place okay so what i can write children the energy wave created or originated from the focus okay the energy waves the waves see this is the point from where the disturbance has started the focus isn't it this is the point from where the disturbance has started so the energy wave will be created from here only isn't it see this is the only point on the surface of the earth and here also disturbance here what is that it is just this point is taken upward isn't it but the main part okay the main point where the disturbance is created is what this one focus isn't it so the main part of the disturbance the disturbance is created where at the point and that point is known as focus somewhere inner uh, in the inner part of the uh, surface of the earth isn't it now so the energy which will be created uh, created means it will be created by itself okay so the energy created or originated at the point which point children if the energy is originated at focus okay then that is called as seismic waves okay it is called as children what seismic waves okay so you know when we talk about the earthquake uh, in my last lecture also i told this thing that this uh, earthquake is very you know, like it is very very uh, common it's a natural process which takes place every now and then in the surface of the earth okay it is a very you know it is it uh, uh, takes place very often but many a times we can't even understand that the earthquake has come and it goes also why children because the intensity is very low the magnitude is very very low okay so the uh, what is there any way to uh, by which we can measure the magnitude of earthquake 
is there any way to measure is there any skill by which we can compare the two uh, different earthquakes like this was very uh, greater one this was very mild okay so yeah there is a scale children okay now this scale is known as Richter scale and uh, it was discovered by Charles Francis Rich, uh, Richter and so on the behalf of his name the scale is also known as Richter scale we will write this okay but before just uh, writing I just want to give a little explanation of this so if the like now here the reading is taken from 0 to 9 children okay I am talking about what now I am talking about Richter scale okay the magnitude of the earthquake can be measured on the Richter scale okay now what is this Richter scale children it is the scale by which the magnitude of the earthquake can be measured isn't it now who, who invented this so it was uh, done by Sir uh, Charles Francis Richter and on the behalf of his name only it is known as Richter scale ok now uh, the this thing the scale uh, gives the reading from 0 to 9 it, the reading is always in whole number like 0 1 2 3 ok so reading is always in whole number now when the reading is between 0 to 3 ok when the reading is between 0 to 3 it is not even understood that the this disaster has come when the reading is between 0 to 3 children it is like everybody is unaware nobody can understand that this earthquake has ever come ok so this is the natural thing this sliding this movement of the uh, place this much of collision is very normal which takes place every now and then in the surface of the earth ok now if the it increases from 3 to 5 ok if it increases from 3 to 5 actually you know till 4 also uh, like it's okay it is like we can feel it but just you know that till 3 to 5 what will happen uh, just the things will move a bit we can some of us some of us will be able to judge um, that yeah some uh, earthquake has come or you know like some movement was there sometimes it happens children if you have uh, experienced the uh, earthquake uh, it, it happened with me you know like I was uh, sitting on the chair and suddenly I fall down and I was just not able to understand that what happened actually so then afterwards we came to know that it was an earthquake and because of that the chair tilted a bit and I was down you know so uh, this still this one that we won't able we won't be able to understand only okay but now here a little sway like just you know the chair the chair the things will move a bit so no disaster no distraction this nothing like very you know which is very scary or disastrous or nothing like that ok now if it increase from 5 ok if it increase from 5 to 6 or uh, even till 7 ok now this kind of uh, uh, the thing earthquake can is like also manageable but it can be little disastrous if the place is highly populated ok it can create disturbance if the place uh, where this uh, earthquake this calamity has come is highly highly populated ok now the, ma the major one is from 7 to 8 all the major earthquake like take the example of the earthquake in India in the Bhuj in the Kish, in the Kashmir so these earthquakes were like you know between uh, 7 to 8 almost 7.5 the range was from 7.5 so this is literally disastrous fun it creates lot of you know destruction lot of thing we are going to study that first of all we'll talk about this and I'll complete this and then we'll move to the next one okay so uh, what I was talking about I think now this part is very very clear children like please understand the point where the disturbance has started in the class you know someone is there no like the one who creates disturbance the one who is responsible for the whole mess 
isn't it something happened but one is responsible for that that one is there who always does something very uh, you know something he is the you know he initiates the thing isn't it so that is the point that is the thing here also children inside the surface of the earth a point where the vibration has started a point where the disturbance has started a point where the pressure is building up so that point is known as i think now it will be uh, easy for you to you know it is learned by you like what is that that point is known as focus okay if the focus point is you know just vertically taken upwards on the surface of the earth then it is known as epicenter that is known as epicenter now after this what i discussed children that the intensity of the earthquake okay the like that the the, uh, the how can we say like this earthquake is uh, was very disastrous or something like that so it depends upon magnitude of the earthquake depends upon what children so it depends upon the center from the uh, distance okay distance from the epicenter it depends upon the distance from the epicenter if the distance is very less okay here so what will happen this is the point where the destruction has come up so obviously a great amount of destruction will be there a great amount of like it will be just a disastrous okay disastrous one so it will be very very destructive now as the distance from the epicenter increases okay as the distance from the epicenter increases then the intense the magnitude of the earthquake will decrease okay distance increase effect will decrease isn't it okay so this i think it is very very clear to you all now again one more point which we discussed over here that the seismic waves okay the seismic waves or the waves or the energy okay the energy which is originated the energy which is originated at focus okay please remember the energy which is being created over here isn't it some energy is created see in the chapter force okay uh, if you have not studied you will be studying that and yeah you have studied the focus this one is before this so if we know children that non living thing cannot move by their own it needs some energy it needs some force isn't it if i have chalk in my hand if i say please move it won't move isn't it so this is such a large plates moving here and there so how can it move that means some energy is there some force is there so this energy this force children which is created here at the point where at the point of focus this is okay this energy is known as seismic wave okay this energy which is created at focus is known as seismic waves i think now it is very clear to you all okay now we are going to talk about the magnitude and always remember children whatever whatever energy will be created over here whatever energy whatever disturbance whatever vibration will be created over here okay will be passed on will be passed on definitely it is not going to be there only isn't it it is going to pass now it depends upon the like how much of energy is created children isn't it how much of energy uh, while teaching force i have given you many example that if i want to lift this board i won't be able to do it even if i do it for the whole day i won't be able to move it for an inch why children because i do not have so much of energy i won't be able to apply so much of force to move this board and so definitely if whole day also if i keep on moving this board i won't be able to move it even an inch isn't it because that much of energy is not there in me so if the energy which is created in the same way if the energy which is created over here if the seismic energy which is created over here is more definitely it is going to come up and it is going to create lot of disaster okay but the energy created is very small if the energy created is very small which is not enough to bring such a big disaster destruction then what it will be absorbed there itself isn't it so so what is the thing the energy which or the energy or what the uh, what thing the energy wave which is created the focus is known as what seismic wave okay we will talk how it is measured also but first we are going to talk about the magnitude of the earthquake okay we are going to talk about the magnitude magnitude of the earthquake 
it's not quack here I say quack it's earthquake okay so we are going to talk about the magnitude of the earthquake so just now as I discussed it was who was the person it was Charles Fra this is F children just a second so it should be legible Francis Richter okay so he this was the person okay this was he was the one who uh, uh, no who uh, told about the scale okay he invented the scale now on the behalf of the his name only on the behalf of his name only the scale is known as what Richter scale okay the scale is known as what Richter scale definitely I am going to write about this also so what is Richter scale a scale which is used to measure the magnitude uh, the intensity the power okay of the what the earthquake okay so uh, as I told uh, this is this range is between what 0 to 9 see actually on the upper side there is no limit uh, God forbidden uh, it has never go gone very higher from this but uh, God forbidden if it goes then I do not know what is going to happen ok so uh, 0 to 9 this is a scale actually so till some uh, you know the first two three scales we will not be able to understand that even the earthquake, earthquake has come it has it is ever no because there is no effect which can be felt by us because the energy which is created over here is not enough to bring the uh, movement on the surface of the earth are you getting it clear because why we are not able to feel all these because the energy which is created over here is not enough to bring the movements on the surface of the earth and so we are not able to feel those isn't it but now when we talk about this one this one is easy you know like this just a movement of things little bit here and there ok so nothing very scary but as we go higher uh, it can be very disastrous if the populated the area is very very populated and the, the higher one this one we all have discussed we have witnessed we were the one who saw is not it. Uh, not if uh, uh, no uh, actually you have not gone over there but even if you live in any part of the world you might have seen on the television the, dis the destruction which was no was uh, there uh, in uh, Bhuj and Kashmir it was really uh, like it is really difficult to uh, see all these things is not it. So uh, now we will just discuss we will write about the magnitude so I will just clean that side. So, how can we define Richter scale? I will write the Richter scale here only. So, the scale on which, okay, the scale on which the magnitude of the earthquake ok the scale on which the magnitude of earthquake can be measured ok can be measured is called as Richter scale ok ok so I will just take the chalk So, it was developed by whom? It was developed by whom? By C. We are talking about the magnitude of the earthquake. How it can be measured, children? It can be measured on the Richter scale. Now, what is the Richter scale? It is a scale which was given by uh, Charles Francis Richter okay who, by whom Charles Francis Richter okay this was a person who gave the scale now what is this Richter scale how can we define it the scale on which the magnitude of the earthquake can be measured very simple the scale on which the magnitude of the earthquake can be measured is known as Richter scale 
okay and see now we will talk about the ranges of the Richter scale so it ranges from or its range is from its range is from what children 0 to 9 okay its range is from 0 to 9 now on the higher side there is no limit children on the higher side there is no limit but we always can pray to God not to exceed the limit isn't it now if we talk about 0 to like one more thing I want to tell you children if you read different different books this uh, you know the limits uh, will be given in a different way like in some books you will find that from 0 to 4 they will say it is negligible in some books you will find 0 to 3 it is negligible some books will find 0 to 5 it is negligible means what is the meaning of that children like you can understand the intensity and then it depends upon the area which is populated or like it is like the, uh, the, the number of people who are living over there the number of buildings which are present over there ok so it all depends upon that also but uh, broadly I will be dividing it ok broadly I can say from 0 to 3 can't felt can't be felt ok because this here what is happening 0 to 3 we cannot feel it why we cannot feel it children because the energy which is created is not enough the seismic energy which is created is not enough and so the vibrations cannot be felt on the surface of the earth isn't it ok so 0 to 3 can't be felt ok now then from 3 to 5 ok from 3 to 5 if I talk about then so uh, even you know I can write here 5.5 .5 also or no only it can move little objects ok few objects can move few objects can move I am telling you one thing again children that if you might come you, you may read several books and you may come across something which does not tallies with this thing so please do not get you know uh, hyper that too this is wrong and nothing like that children a broader division I am giving you a broader division and again I am saying that in different books you will be you will be finding all these things little bit you know there are little little differences among the this among these ranges ok so uh, this one 0 to 3 can't be felt even you can take 4 in that can't be felt 4 can be taken over there now even I can write over there 3 or 4 ok then from 4 to 5.5 only it will be able to move certain objects ok nothing no it is not, not at all a scary thing now here comes the tremor 7 ok now uh, even 6.5 is like if the area is highly populated can bring disaster can bring disaster if the area is highly populated ok so it depends upon the number of the people who are living over there ok now then the real one this one from 6.5 actually no I cannot write here 0 0.5 0 0.5 just writing you know because these readings are always please note this point the readings are always there in the whole numbers ok and difference between 2 will be what will be equal to 10 more like my vibrations or it is 10 times more than the previous one ok so I, I will write from 7 but it is given everywhere in like this only 6.7.5 so these are major one ok these are what these are major one and the greater one can be 7.5 and higher to this it will be greater one 
okay so it depends again upon the it will vary a little bit from book to book but broadly what i can say is see we are talking about the magnitude of the earthquake the magnitude of the earthquake can be measured by the richter scale it was given by whom charles francis richter on the behalf of his uh, behalf of him only the the scale is given the name of what richter scale okay now uh then ranges we have discussed this many a time now again the the earthquake which came in the bhuj and the kashmir was more than or around 7.5 and you have seen that destruction so this one is highly destructive this one is highly destructive okay even this one will create certain uh destruction it depends upon the uh, area but then about this so uh i cannot i don't have words to explain i do not have words to you no know, limit the destruction okay so and you know children one more very important thing like the for earthquake still there is no device which is which can give us prior information children that is one of the you know a major reason why this becomes more disastrous more destructive a uh, lot of lives you know the buildings the uh, on lot of destruction takes place the reason one behind is that also children that still it cannot be uh, it, it is not uh, predictable it cannot be predicted by the scientists that yeah in this particular area at this time we are going to have an earthquake so until unless it uh, it becomes a predictable it will be uh, really dis disastrous and destructive okay so please note this and now we'll be talking about the next topic okay obviously which will be related to this only do's and don'ts okay please note this